If you had your wisdom teeth removed, you must know this. Check it out. So in my, we are in my office right now and we're checking a cone beam scan, which is a three-dimensional x-ray. We need to do this because we have to look into the jawbone. What happens after wisdom tooth removal? Problem is, we're not prepared and what often forms is a so-called cavitation. Here you can see a cone beam, a three-dimensional x-ray, and there's literally no mineralization of the bone. It's a really dark area, so hypomineralized. Same here. That means your body was not in a healing state. And what happens is this would be healthy bone, but this developed. So basically, it's probably 90% of you guys out there that had their wisdom teeth removed in a non-prepared state systemically. So what happens is chronic silent jawbone inflammation called cavitations, better known as FDOJ, fatty degenerative osteonecrotic jawbone. Mushy bone, basically. And this harbors toxins, viruses, bacteria, parasites, fungi, and they will be ongoingly stressing you or a trigger for your immune and your nervous system, which could lead to potential systemic health issues overall because it's all connected through the trigeminus. So if you want to know how to avoid this, comment below and follow for more. Cheers, Dr. Dome.